I'm gonna go all out. You did challenge Hirobon! Let's focus our efforts! Okie dokie! Mighty! Try and catch me! Fiora! Everyone. Ricky's sidekick's too good. <laughs> Thank you, almighty oh Ricky. Is that a ball of water? So, you finally made it, Shulk. <gasps> it's you. 
What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see which path you choose. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Ugh. Welcome, Shulk. Shulk. That voice! It's Zanza! But he looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. Ha! You gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. You will be granted eternal life and unimaginable strength. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings! Playthings? Yes! You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they are transformed into Telethia. What are you talking about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did not transform them. I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form, the High Entia. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. Bionis is nothing more than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still confined you to Prison Island. That is how limited you are. Confined me? I was merely resting there for a while. I was wounded in the battle with Maynath's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel revealed to me in a vision, would be born. Until... I was born. Precisely. I intended to inhabit your body, and once again do battle with Maynath. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynath... You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Shulk. Never! I don't want to be your vessel or your disciple. I just want to live my life as a Homs in a world without you! That is most regrettable. You could have entrusted all to me and attained peace. But perhaps the vision of mortals will ever remain limited. Using one's power to change the world. That is a right possessed only by gods. Is that why you laid waste to Maconis? Of course. Along with the beings called Machina, who followed Maynard. They had evolved and become insolent under her protection. <laughs> so you're saying us Homs are next in line, eh? You are correct. 
You yourselves have proven that Homs are a dangerous species. How unfortunate. I had a desire for friendship. But granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. A god should not long for friendship. You're wrong! Maynard chose to exist alongside us. She grew to consider us her friends. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected, it appears that I was mistaken to grant free will. However, all will soon be over. The Telethia will exterminate all life on Bionis. I will then create a new world. Just as I have done many times before. We will not allow it. We cannot. We will stop you! I shall wipe you from this world and bring forth this demise! Yeah. 
Visions. You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That, that is a right for gods, and gods only! Why should we care? What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice, and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Our destiny is our own! Can it be? It is not only you that has the right. Every living thing has the freedom to choose the path they walk. And that is the future. A third Monado has appeared. How can this have happened? You are mere mortals! Your existence cannot be permitted. I will destroy you! Mine is the one true Monado, instrument of destruction and reaver. restricted to the limited power determined by providence. That power, although great, is not unlimited. That voice! Albus! How dare you disobey me! Ah! I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. 
and I will proclaim the end. But that... that's impossible. Shulk, it is time for you to choose. Does this world belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something I decided long ago! We use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! All that I am is faded. The memory of a god's existence. Born from the chaos of creation, it is vanishing. Where am I? This is my home. Your home. Let's begin the experiment. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man of flesh and blood. No! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! And that voice? It's Maynath. Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe! We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to the divine! It was simple curiosity. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe and created a new one. A new universe. Your world was born. And so, two gods came into existence. Zanza and Maynath were lonely, so they created life in their own image. And that was how we were born. As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction and recreation. Bionis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. His future, and our future, it might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? Yes. That is why I appeared before you, Shul. Alvis, what are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility. But that will mean little to you. To you, I am a machine. That is my original form. Alvis? This world is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you its new god. 
What is your wish? Will you allow the world to continue to stagnate? Or will you allow it to evolve to the next level? The choice is yours to make. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. I cannot be a god. Too right. You're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. None of us want to be gods anyway. And I don't really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying, sometimes arguing. Sounds all right? Yes, <laughs> he's right. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun not knowing! Ricky want to have fun! Life's little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. Yeah. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we should live. That's our world. Forgive my presumptuousness, but I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. Apologies. However, I have good reason. This world has little time remaining if left in this state. Have you made your decision? The choice is yours, Creator. Tell me your decision for the future of this world. I won't decide. The future should be decided by each and every person in the world. And so, what I... No. What we wish for is... A world with no gods! Trying to kill me? Oh, I'm really sorry, Colonel. Sorry? What do you mean, sorry? <laughs> Squat jumps around the entire colony. Fifty laps now. Please, Colonel. Ah, yes, that's excellent. So you can take the materials to District Four. The restoration's coming along nicely. Thanks to Melia and Venea. The High Intia and Machina have some amazing technology. We are happy to help. 
to live alongside one another in harmony. After all, I have no doubt this is what Lady Maynath and Egil would have wanted. Hear, hear. And may it last forever. Dunban? Fiora? What is it? Have you seen Shulk? Oh, uh, he just left. I don't know where he's gone, but he was with Ryan and the others. Okay, thank you. Fiora? Yes? Uh... It's nothing. Good luck. If you're looking for Shulk, he is not here. Amazing! It's like you've got eyes in the back of your head. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're right. We've been through a lot. Yes. We have. I am grateful to all of you. It is because I met you that I experienced so much. And it is the reason I am here now. Yes. We're happy you're here too. Thanks, Melia. For everything. I'm glad I met you. Hmm. <laughs> And I, you. Yeah. All most got it. Go rain. Go rain. Oh, Ricky, really go hungry. On. Put your whoa, back into whoa. it, Ryan. Are you okay? <coughs> <coughs> It's salty. What's up with the water being so salty? Ryan, you're terrible at this. When was the last time you fished? <laughs> I'm a bad fisherman. Ricky won't eat big fish. Give us a break. You try next time, Furball. Fishing is Ryan's job. Ricky's job is eating. Hang on a sec. Isn't Oka going to have a massive go at you if you don't go back to her with 14 fish to feed all your little pond? Oh, Ricky forgot. Wifey pond very angry if not catch more fish. It ain't me she's going to be angry with. No, Ryan, catch fish. Catch fish oh. now. Oh, fish, fish. <laughs> You are. The breeze feels so good. Mm. It does. That's all. Yeah. Really? Oh, I was thinking about growing it out, but... Hey, which do you prefer? Both, of course. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to say to that? Sorry. Okay. It's great like that. Don't change it. <sighs> I'd forgotten what it feels like to do this. I wonder what the future has in store for us. Who knows? I'm sure it will be full of ups and downs. Ups and downs? I don't know what the future holds. 
But that means I can imagine the possibilities. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Yeah. You're right. Do you remember what the Monado, I mean Alvis, said to us the last time we saw him? Yes, of course. Shulk. This new world is boundless. It is home to not only you, but many forms of life. I can see it. In this world, all life will walk towards the future, hand in hand. One day, I hope I can meet them all. The people of this endless world. Me too. We will. I know it. Mm -hmm. We'll meet them. And whatever happens, we'll face our future together.